Hello everyone, Deus Legend here for Xbox Live Network, here with a game preview of The Raven Remastered. This game was developed by Keem Art Games and published by THQ Nordic, released on the Xbox Store today, March 13th. I don't know the price yet, let's see what the price is. But I would like to welcome everybody to our stream here live on Mixer. Appreciate you guys for joining us. Um, this game is $29.99 on the Xbox Store. So uh, let's jump right into the game. And uh, first, we'd like to welcome our live viewers here Corkenstein, Dopey, SpongeBob, and Cloven Casey. Appreciate you guys for joining us. So let's jump into the game. This is a sort of a point and click detective game, or not exactly point and click. Um, it has three different chapters. You must complete them in order to move on to the next one. So, um, yeah, we'll just overwrite my previous save. I didn't really go that far. I was pretty much 30 minutes to an hour into the game. Probably more so 30 minutes, but it took me a while to figure out what to do exactly. So, we'll be playing this game about an hour or so. Checking it out, see uh, what it's all about. It also the the whole talking portions will extend it a bit, so yeah, we might get right up to the part where I know what I'm what I'm doing in the game, so that, that works out for me. I have not watched this intro, I skipped it when I was playing up here. So, uh, it's my first time seeing it. The Raven's heir. <laughs> Soon as one of them's caught, another one takes his place. Hey, Harold, have you read this? Harold? 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 Hmm. Very intriguing. What is going on? Harold, you hear me? This is no time for fun and games. Who's there? Harold? Harold? Well, there's another guard back there unconscious. That's probably him. The Eye of the Sphinx. Where is it? It's there. Oh, good. Then he hasn't got it yet. You mean the Raven's heir? Shh, turn it off. He's gonna steal the eye. But the evil eye. You know. Doesn't matter. All that matters is that we catch him. Do you understand? Yeah, but do you understand? You and me, mate, we'll be heroes. All right, now. We just have to... What? Halt! Halt, who goes there? Stop! Stop! We're under arrest! Uh oh The Raven! Dun dun dun! Hey Dementia, welcome to the stream. The Raven, we must start. Halt the Raven, nevermore. Nice sunny day here. Typical train bridge. The beginning of Toy Story 3. Also, uh, smoke coming out of that stick. That's a very um, environmentally friendly train there. Nice soundtrack. 
Sounds like a Disney movie. It's almost like we're watching a movie here. There's Thomas the Tank Engine here. Hmm, no, this is not Train Sim. Hey, see if you guys are getting any ideas here. This is not the Train Sim game. <laughs> Although we could just rebrand it Train Sim Story Mode or something. <laughs> the train game. <laughs> Everyone loves that train game. What is up with that? <laughs> Hands up. Hey, look, it's, it's dopey as a child. What are you doing here, dopey? <laughs> hey, Sir Khalid, welcome to the stream. Okay, you get some choices you can make. Um, Throughout the game too, um, some dialogue oh, choices. I'm not sure if they um, change any of the story or anything, but you know, no do live ones. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? He's the greatest burglar ever. He stole paintings from the Louvre and those priceless eggs, gold and diamonds and stuff. And Bobby Dobb says he replaced the crown jewels with rhinestones. I know who the Raven was, although the I don't quite buy that bit about the crown jewels. You do know these days there are thieves far more dangerous than your old raven. Two days ago, a precious ruby was stolen from the British Museum. There was an explosion. The Museum of Natural History. Really? Really? Yeah. And do you know what the papers say? <clears throat> you talk too much, Kaiser. I agree, you do talk Zelda, too much. Monsieur. Anton Jacob Zelda. Or did he pull a gun on you? No, monsieur. Get a move on him. Inspector Legrand, it's a great honor to work with a celebrity like you. We appreciate the support, Swiss police. But it'd be better if you'd remain seated and keep an eye on things. Okay. But monsieur, surely I can be of assistance somehow. I saw a safe being loaded. We have everything under control. If you'll excuse me, I'll be in the first freight car at the back of the train for the rest of the trip. Okay. You want to ride in the freight car? to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I, I am a good observer, and I have finely honed powers of deduction. Thanks to that? I watched the people on the platform in Zurich. I know, for example, that that man over there is a violinist. <laughs> that would be more impressive if there weren't a violin case next to him. And I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor on his way to Italy to take up a new position. <laughs> and what gives you that idea? There's the rod of Asclepius engraved on his cufflink. And he's carrying a German-Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking a holiday in Italy, following in Goethe's footsteps. Too much luggage. And no, he's not retiring to Italy either. The suitcases are too shabby for me to believe that he can afford to retire in his late 50s. Yeah, the game is interesting. It's uh, some detective work you have to do and figuring out how to solve some... I wouldn't call them puzzles per se, but you just have to figure out what to do. I think we can rule out that you're on holiday. I don't have time for fun and games, so... I think you're looking for someone. You're, You're a sucker good. for detective games. If I were looking for someone, yeah, this I is the one. Spend the trip cooped up in a freight car, huh, would I? Well, that would seem to indicate that you're guarding something. And what might it be? Money. Um, we're in Switzerland. A safe was loaded aboard. Perhaps it's full of money. Oh, come now. You really think that I, I of all people, would be minding a pile of money? And in Switzerland, of all places? No. So what is it that I'm guarding? Uh, whatever it's hard to say. You couldn't say. But it must be very important. Why is that? Because you 
are very important. They wouldn't have assigned the case to you if it were just a trifle. <laughs> Let's assume that we really are transporting something very important on this train. And let's assume that it really is my job to see that it arrives safe. Then why isn't the train crawling with police? More men are unnecessary. There are enough police on this train as it is. If there were more, they'd only get in each other's way. I can assure you that I'd pack every seat in every carriage of this train with police. If it were a matter of deterrence. You're saying you don't want to scare off potential thieves? Ah. You're laying a trap. That would explain why it's just me and not the army, Miss Pat. All the same, I can't comment on your speculation. <laughs> your deductive powers leave much to be desired. I think we'll get along fine without you. You won't. Won't? Pardon moi. I can help. And I will help. You're in my country. And I have been ordered to assist you. And that's exactly what I'll do. Whether you like it or not. Not so bright, but stubborn. Your commitment speaks volumes, Zana. But this is my show, and I don't need you. Where? But how do you know? <sighs> oh, hello. You cheated. I did what? I saw you talking to the German doctor on the platform. He told you everything himself. You were just pretending to put two and two together. And what of it? Do you know who that is? That's Inspector Nick. It's a lot of his dialogue in the game. You have to impress him if you want to work with him. I'm going to tell on you. You'd really tell on me? Yeah, another train sim game. <laughs> but this is train sim story mode. Mm -hmm. Hunted and killed Europe's most famous burglar. That's how he got his start. I won't tell him a thing. I wouldn't either. What's your name again? Matthew Miller from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. All right, Matthew Miller from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls <laughs> that. <laughs> That's better than the last rings oh, game. <laughs> Go to the lavatory. I don't think there is one on this Where train. At least on the parts I can go to. My eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. But this looks like a better first class section than uh, the other game. Well, here's a tutorial. Why did I click on this? This morning I thought I would be hungry because of all the excitement. Thankfully, I bought a sandwich with me anyway. Like the whole art style and stuff of this game reminds me of um uh what is it? Um, Back to the Future game that came out. It was free games of gold a few months back or whatever. Like the graphic style looks just like that game, pretty much. I wrapped the apple core in the sandwich paper. That way I can carry it. The whole style of the game seems like that one. Still like prefer not to have I'm not sure who developed that one. It, was that a Telltale game or what? I don't even remember. Croissant I bought at the train station. A guilty pleasure. I think it was a telltale game. That either. This is not, however, a telltale game. Every table has its own waste basket. Practical. No need to ever leave your seat. Every Okay. So that's the basic mechanics of the game. It's going to be a lot of inventory and combining some items and stuff like that. Oh, I did not know that. Press X to highlight all objects in the scene. Okay. That might be helpful. I'm pressing X. It's not doing anything, but whatever. The violinist is a good looking fellow. And he's traveling through the most beautiful mountain landscape in the world. One can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Hello, sir. 
Helen. If I'm not mistaken, you're a violinist. That's true. No, it's a viola. Instrument. The violin music touches the soul. That's why I learned to play it. Do you play in an orchestra? No. Orchestras aren't really part of my world. A solo violinist. The best soloists travel a great deal and make a pile of money. Or so they say. In that case, I'm probably not one of the best. Are you traveling to Istanbul non-stop? No. I'll transfer in Venice to a ship. I'm on my way to Cairo. Cairo? I'm performing at a reception in the Egyptian Museum there. Cairo, eh? I'm sure your recital will be a great success. But tell me, did you notice anything unusual on the train? Anything unusual? Persons acting suspiciously, for instance. For heaven's sake, is that cause for concern? Everything is in order, sir. We Swiss are just very cautious people. I understand. No, I didn't notice anything. Have a good trip. Thanks. Okay. Moving on. Very kind of you. Thanks. Whoa there. Oh, oh pardon me. No, no, no problem. The uniform is waterproof. Uh, Mr. Lucian. Professor Edgar Lucian. Edgar oh, Lucian. A professor? Are you a scientist? Do you teach at the Sorbonne? No, I work at the British Museum in London. You don't say. So you were, shall we say, an eyewitness um, to the Um, maybe he went to bed. No, I, don't know. I wouldn't say that. Oh no. There was Sponge a Sponge doesn't emotion, sleep. That's right. But I didn't really pay much attention to it. There was a break. Sponge is always here. Museum. Sponges don't need to sleep. You? Well. Let's just say that nothing that's happened in the last 2,000 years concerns me. <laughs> Did you notice anything unusual on the train? Here. One thing I wish, you know, we had different well, camera angles to see who exactly who's talking and some close-ups of the people, but other than that, the time in my whatever. I don't want to take up any more of your valuable time, but you do understand, don't you? That what concerns me is the present, and especially the robbery at the museum. Yeah, of course, of course. It's just, I I'm in rather a hurry. You'll get in touch if you notice anything unusual, won't you, Professor? Of course, Constable. What's this? What's the matter, sir? The door. <laughs> I can't open it. What if he goes zombie boat? We'll sort it out somehow. The compartment is locked. But... I didn't lock it. I don't even have a key. I asked the steward. He was going to bring me one, but he never came back. Someone locked it. Hmm. Someone locked this door. Find the steward. He needs to bring me the key immediately. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. You don't understand. I have to get back in my compartment. All right. Just wait here. Okay. Moving on. The little label on the door reads Baroness von Trebitz. Blue blood on the Orient Express. Hey, you, you know, you don't want to damage White Star Line property here, you know? Yes, what is it? Whoever that is, James, ask them whether they closed <laughs> my purse and then closed the door. The noise on this. Yeah, that's White Star right property right there! there. Missing a purse. Was it stolen? At the very least, I cannot find it, sir. It was stolen. When did you? When was the last time the Baroness saw her purse? What? In Zurich, on the platform, sir. Just let me in there. I just asked where you last saw your purse. It would be fun if you just closed the door on his head there. Platform. James, tell him that I still had it when I got out to stretch my legs. The Baroness says, maybe you lost it there. What? The Baroness never loses anything, sir. I never lose anything. Well, apparently you lost your purse, ma'am. Well, then. I shall be on the lookout for your purse. If I might ask you a few questions about your fellow passengers. I thought he was looking for my purse. <laughs> James, 
Tell him to look for my purse. The Baroness wishes that you search for her purse. Fine, we'll search for her but purse. Couldn't we perhaps? <sighs> All right. First, the purse. I. <sighs> I will have a look around. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, this is one thing I didn't notice when I was first playing the game. Um, and it m might have helped. I don't know. We have a little journal here. You can ask for a hint for some stuff, I guess. That may have helped me earlier when I was playing the game. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Moving on. Let's enter the saloon car. And yes, there are loading screens between each train car. I don't believe it. It's an old lady. I drinking never tea. Thought I'd ever meet you. Super Mario here meeting I random people on the train. It's all right, Miss Miller. I'd like to speak to the inspector. Why? Unfortunately, just a constable, Lady Westmacott. I'm reading the vicarage in the mirror right now, for the fifth time at least. That's nice, Constable uh, Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. This is my companion, Miss Miller. Miss Miller. A pleasure. What is she doing here? May I ask what you're doing here? Are you on holiday? Holiday? Yes, so to speak. The first and last holiday of my life. Wow, madam. I've been writing since I was a little girl. It became my job, and now I've stopped. So, this must be a holiday. You quit writing? Impossible. Impassibility. I have all of your books. Your detective Patu is my favorite character. Then I have bad news for you. I killed the old wretch off years ago. I I don't understand. I rather not discuss my work, Constable. Oh, well, fine. Where's the purse, lady? There's something else. A passenger's purse has gone missing. I suppose you haven't seen it. I'm sorry, Constable Zellner. As you know, I only deal with murder, not birth. <laughs> murder, not birth. Have you asked my boy oh. yet? Maddie is good at finding things. I'll go and do that now. Um... As a writer, you must be very observant. Am I right? I mean, you have to study the behavior of people around you to create the characters in your novels, don't you? I solved the mystery of human nature a long time ago, Mr. Zellner. Since then, most people just bore me. Really? I had the impression you were eyeing me suspiciously as I came in. What do you want to know, Constable? Um, the violinist. Hey, Mike Pitts, welcome to the stream. The yeah, I, I didn't get this on Gangs of Gold either. I, I, certainly I missed that he one. introduced himself and tried to make a good impression. People like him are drawn to wealth and fame like moths to a flame. But his charms fade. He must have dropped it at the time when I wasn't paying attention to the Gangs of Gold for whatever reason. I never really played those games. I just let them to download and add them to my account to potentially play at a later time that I never... End up doing twice as much and complain that they have far too little. Did you notice the man who just walked into the next carriage with a cup of tea? I did. He seemed nervous. He was waiting at the bar for the steward, and since the steward never appeared, he elected to help himself. He took two biscuits. He seems pretty How dare young, he? But he's already a professor at the British Museum. The British Museum of Natural History. Bing! Just out of courtesy, of course. Of course. Only episode one. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, lady. As much as I'd like to keep talking, duty calls. You were right, madam. I did observe you as you came in. You seem so uh, eager. I. It's been a long time since I've had a chance to prove myself, madam. And this is it. Your chance. I do hope so. Then grab it. 
even small people can make big changes, as my friend Ronald likes to say. I shall do my best. Okay, um, moving on. Yeah, they only gave episode one. That's interesting. Mm, I've loved them since I was a child. Their only drawback, they don't play nice with false teeth. Hmm, let's take some. Maybe if I just suck it. <laughs> it just takes them. Ah, uh, Mr. Zellner. Ah, right, right. How can I help you? Do you know where the conductor is? Hmm. I'd like to know that myself. I told him to search for my missing suitcase in Zurich. He hasn't got back to me yet. He's probably in cahoots with the thieves and didn't bother getting back on the train. If we don't crack down on vermin like them, the rabble will rule the world one day. Well, at the moment, we still don't know what really happened. He's not here doing his job. That's bad enough. Tell me. Did you notice anything suspicious here on the train or in Zurich? You mean, except for the fact that my suitcase was stolen on the platform? No. <laughs> Is there any reason to be concerned? No. Yes. Just routine. Constable Zellner, please don't think I'm naive. I spotted the inspector from his post. Legard is his name, if I recall correctly. Le Grand. If you say so. At the train station in Zurich, he put a cash box into the safe and then kept close watch as it was loaded onto the train. Don't tell me that a man at his pay grade routinely tramps across the Alps just to keep an eye on cash boxes. A cash box? Like the ones you'd find in safe deposit boxes? Precisely. And I believe we both have a good idea just what's inside. <laughs> you click the trail and not the game. Rip. I do <laughs> indeed have a theory. But what's yours? A ruby was stolen in London. One of the legendary Eyes of the Sphinx. The second jewel, an emerald, is rumored to be in a Swiss bank vault, if I remember correctly. Both jewels were supposed to be exhibited together in Cairo for the first time in 50 years. It does make one wonder. Indeed. I meant to ask, the Baroness is missing her purse. A Baroness? This train is really full of the creme de la creme. The Queen of Crime is over there. And now a Baroness as well. Have you seen the purse? Unfortunately, no. Do you know Lady Westmacott? You were talking to her. Well, I'm an admirer of her work. Like so many others. I once read in the newspaper that only Shakespeare and the Bible sell more copies than her crime novel. I read that too. She must be filthy rich. As a doctor, I'd have to work a thousand years to earn that kind of money. Any news about the robbery in London? Quite something, wasn't it? It must have been professionals. The way they disabled one of the best security systems in the world. Most impressive. People were injured. Well, one cannot execute a robbery of that scale without collateral damage. It seems like the Raven has finally found a worthy successor. We can look forward to... That clock second hand isn't moving in the background. I'm afraid I won't enjoy his exploits this time around if the new Raven is so reckless. That's your prerogative. Give me the newspaper. May I borrow your newspaper? You can take the section with the article on the burglary. You're interested in that bit. Aren't no. You? <laughs> you caught me out. Here you go. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Auf Wiedersehen, Dr. Gebhardt. Goodbye. Okay. All of a sudden, we throw some German in there? Okay. Okay. What are we writing in this journal here? I don't know. The 
the steward must have forgotten the toothpicks. Normally, he would offer them discreetly after dinner. Okay. I suppose the steward won't object to me having a look around in his absence. Hmm. Pad on which the steward writes orders. Empty. Maybe he didn't use it because there's not much to do today. I don't need the pad, but the pencil might come in handy. I doubt it. The steward probably uses the scissors on hard to open packages. These days, nearly everything is sealed up tight. A colleague recently told me about dry powdered soup in small bags. I couldn't believe it. Also, you can get an achievement here. I've already gotten it for examining the radio here and turning it on. Radio. So this is it's technically the first achievement in the game, I believe. The last if you come behind the bar and turn on the radio. Like so. All right. Um, make sure we do everything. Would have thought that one day butterscotch would remind me of my age waffle start. One million. Hmm. That'll be something, eh? A one million my point giveaway. Oh boy. <laughs> so you can get five games with that. Hmm. The drawer is locked. Okay, so this is the steward's open but as long as Okay, we're gonna go back here. So we need to um, do a couple things here. Talk to some more people then open that drawer. Eric's yet Oops. You say she can skip some of the things here. And that she's rather unhappy. Excuse me. Lady Westmacott. Constable Delno. How can I help you? Um coming back to the other passengers again. Did you notice anyone else? What about the doctor or the baroness? I notice that you've asked me about everyone, except for the inspector who went in the direction of the freight car a few minutes ago. Isn't that the Frenchman who made his name when he caught the raven? <laughs> I wouldn't quite say caught. Well, shot. Why don't you ask me about him and my theory about what he's doing here? I don't think we should discuss Inspector Legrand's investigation in public. So he's been knitting the same little piece of right. cloth this for will he save the entirety of this game. Or will you, Constable? Goodbye. Another time. Farewell, Lady Westmacott. Constable? Let's talk to the other lady. Mrs. Miller made a good impression. She wanted to protect Lady Westmacott from me, a pushy admirer. Very diligent, but she does seem a little nervous and tense. I imagine she has her work cut out for her with Matt, and a difficult boss from what they say. Mrs. Miller? Yes? Mm, Matt, boy? The little boy, Matt, he's your son? Oh, yes. Has he done something? No, not no. yet. I've already met him. Clever little fellow. We always call him Professor because he's so precocious. Precocious. Drive the mischief out of him. The the Did you notice the language in this game? Unusual. So exquisite. So oh, British. Not. So proper. Totally focused on my work. She's always got an awful lot to do, my Mary. You have to tell me if that's not all right with you. Good Lord, child. Knit as much as you want. So. Nothing out of the ordinary. No, Constable. Goodbye, Mrs. Miller. Goodbye, Constable. Goodbye. Okay, can I not ask her for the... It's uncomfortable, although she... Uh, okay, I guess I can't ask her for something yet. I'm trying to do things out of order here. can easily lock the compartment door from inside by turning a little knob. But I didn't lock it. Professor, 
If you had locked the door from in there, you wouldn't be out here. Right, uh, exactly. That's true. I don't believe that it's no use. The bolt is too short to get a good grip on it. Okay, moving on. Should should I ask for an autograph? That will be quite unprofessional. But on the other hand, Take a gander out of the window, eh? We Swiss are crazy about trains. We don't just have a lot of railroads. We have the most beautiful ones in the world. Would you be so kind as to close the window? I don't want to sit in the draft. Oh, pardon. Very windy. I may trouble you once more. A passenger is missing her purse. Perhaps you've seen it. So, there are thieves on the train. It's been missing for some time now. Probably since Zurich. <laughs> the Swiss don't let go of money easily, do they? Oh, pardon me. No, I haven't seen the purse. Have a good trip. Thank you. Okay. Moving to the next car again. Hey, Narco Sleepy. Yeah, this is the first episode of the remastered version here. I never played it, so I don't know what's remastered or not remastered, or if there is any differences. Probably not. It's probably just more of a re release, if anything. I strongly suspect that the door is. It's charming. I like the charming music. Yeah. Sounds like a Disney it's thing. Hello? Wow. Don't move a muscle, you feathered fiend. You feathered fiend. What is the meaning of this? Why are you people hiding in this freak car? If I may introduce Constable. They're on the hardcore stream. <laughs> Now they're on the train from the train sim game. Of the Swiss police, who obviously couldn't control his curiosity. Then I was right. You really do want to lure someone into a trap. That's none of your business. Perhaps that someone recently struck in London. And how would I bait my trap then? True, an true. Eye, an eye on its way from Zurich to Cairo. Someone has done his homework. Well done, Constable. I hope you'll acknowledge that I, as a Swiss policeman, can undertake investigations in my own country. Are we still in Switzerland? I could be your eyes on the train, as long as you're here in the freight car. Or the Puchu Express. Baroness von Trebitz told me that she's missing her purse. Baroness von Trebitz? Interesting. Indeed. There's only like ten people on this train. It has nothing to do with our case. So I shouldn't concern myself with the matter. <clears throat> ah, why not? It's your job as a policeman. But don't expect me to be particularly interested in a lost purse. There is a certain Professor Lucien on the train. He's an archaeologist from London. And what's his story? Well, it seems someone locked him out of his compartment. Locked him out? Well, yes. The door is locked and he's standing outside without a key. Was it locked from inside? It may have been. Hmm. Do you think the locked door could be important? Professor yes, of course it is. Role in this story. Well, then, we have a mystery on our hands, gang. Be my it's time to call in the mystery gang. And see that Professor Lucien gets back into his Report back to me when you're through. My pleasure, monsieur. What do you know of this raven's heir? He tried to blow me up. Rob, we don't know who we're dealing with yet. In any event, the new raven is a more dangerous man than the old one. 
How do we know it's a man? It could just as easily be a woman. Or several men. Or and several anyways, women. How do you know that it's a new raven? Monsieur? Never mind. I go attend to the door now. Good. And Constable Zone. Yes? Don't bother us. Unless you have something new to report. Oh, he of told course. him. A thief might get anxious if there's too much activity in the freight car. Exact amount. Knock twice. Then we'll know that it's you. Understood. Okay. He's writing stuff in our little journal here. Investigation on behalf of a grant that takes me one step closer. If I can convince him of my competence, I might even be able to see this case through to the end. Alright, so what's in his journal? Um... So your whole goal right now is to uh, open a door and to find the Baroness's purse. That's our goal right now. Hmm. A box with a padlock. I suppose it contains tools for the train's crew, maybe for coupling and uncoupling the cars. At any rate, it's positioned so that it's easier to reach from the ground than from up here. The ladder leads up to the roof. It will be suicidal to climb up there while the train is at full speed. The wind, the tunnels. No, I'll stay down here. Hmm. I suppose it comes at any rate. And I'm all okay. We're going back inside. Something like that to pick the lock. Mm, wire or something you can see. Toothpick won't do it. This is the stupid alone. Alright. I think it's uncomfortable for her when I talk to her in front of Lady Westmacott. She seems to take it as an inappropriate distraction from her work, although she's just knitting. Excuse me, Lady Westmacott. Constable Zellner, how can I help you? Uh, sign the book. I uh, was wondering if you might sign your book. Constable Delma? If it isn't too much of an inconvenience. Of course it's an inconvenience, but only a small one. You are welcome. Thank you so very much. Are you traveling to Istanbul, Lady Westmacott? No. We are on our way to Venice. From there we will take a ship to Cairo. As you may know, I have a penchant for archaeology. I fund a few excavations in Egypt. I traveled to Egypt by ship as a young woman. And now I'm doing it again as an old woman. I see. Another time. I thought you'd never been on Farewell, vacation. Lady Westmacott. Constable. Okay, it might not be time to talk to her about something that we need to do to open up that drawer back there. But whatever, we're going to move on. He doesn't make a very balanced impression. And he, of all people, isn't bothered by a robbery. Yep, Jordan's here. Oh, great. Professor Lucien? Yes? Do you have the key? Actually, I want it. Please. I have to go back to my compartment. Bye. Bye. The large map shows the different routes of the Orient Express. <laughs> Mod hype. This train began in Paris and ends in Istanbul as usual. Unfortunately, it will make most of its journey without you. Mm. No, we can't do anything about it. This is the first car. The 
cold tender should be directly beyond this door. Jordan and heck the stream. It, the engine. There could be many reasons for the violinist shaking hand. Strained nerves, an illness, my money's on alcohol. It wouldn't be the first musician who ruined his career that way. I think it of I of there are but not hmm. trying to remember what needs to be done next here. ABX Latino Heat, welcome to the stream. I need a bit. This is the better as long as he. I'll leave the scissors here. If I need them, I know where to find them. Hmm. I need to find that little boy, but uh, I'd better let I'd better but I don't know where he is. I mean places he can be. I think you have to trigger this animation here. Locked. There we go. Don't move! Matt, have you gone mad? I'll shoot. Give me that. Hey, my pistol! Get out of here, dopey. Get out of here. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too. One just flew past the window. Yes, yes, sure. Now <laughs> you saved the best oh, for last. Okay. Uh, the box is secured with a padlock. All right, let's go back. I think we can open or try to open these things now, maybe. <laughs> MX. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my son didn't make any trouble for you, I hope. It's just that he just walked past us, silent and seething. That's usually a sign that someone's laid down the law. I'm afraid so. He played a trick on me, a rather dangerous one. The lad left me no choice but to take away his wooden pistol as a punishment. I understand. And thank you. Maddie is a very lively child. Sometimes he needs a strong fatherly hand. Where is Matt's father, if I may ask? He's... Dead. He's gone. Ah, I understand. Could you, uh, leave Maddie's pistol here, perhaps? So you don't have to bother with it? Of course. I told him he wouldn't get it back until Venice. Very well. Thank you again, Constable. I think, although, there are but nothing. Okay, apparently I can't ask them for the item yet. This guy's just standing here forever, just trying to get into his room. Let's kick the door in already. Hello, Matt. Hey, how are you? Oh, come hey. on. Are you going to be angry with me for the rest of the trip? Until I get my pistol back. I gave it to your mother. Oh man, couldn't you have just raked me over the coals? Yes. Would you have learned? Had option, I would have done it. I didn't it. learn anything from this either. <laughs> yeah, the graphics are pretty interesting. Come on, Matt. Did you really think that you can ignore me for longer than I can ignore you? I'm Swiss. It's practically a national sport. Matt is digging in his heels. I won't get anything out of him as long as he's angry with me. Okay. I don't know 
First, I bet it doesn't. Perhaps a thoughtful conductor noticed that Professor Missy. The door is locked. I'm at a loss without a key. The bolt is too short. I'm at a loss. Okay. The Baron, I better. Now, let's see if we can ask the lady for something here. I think all the there are. Okay, hey, maybe not. I better let it. Because the most I don't want to read the paper. Goodbye. I think I just need to offer the boy some butterscotches or something. I think that's what it is, Bob. I thought it was an option before that popped up. There we go. Would you like a butterscotch? You think you can bribe me? I have no reason to. You made trouble and got punished for it. Take it as a peace offering. Just four? If I'm faster than you, there'll only be three. Hey! Friends again? Bribing kids with candy. Dangerous nonsense anymore. Okay. Something completely different this time. The Baroness in the second compartment over there is missing her purse. Do you have any idea where it could be? <laughs> Do I ever? Mm -hmm. That guy over there with the violin case? What about him? He picked up something in Zurich and put it in his violin case. Really? Yeah. Sure that nobody saw him. You saw him? Uh-huh. Did you also see what it was? Nah, not really. But now that I think of it, it must have been the Baroness. Dun dun dun! I look into it, shouldn't I? I think so. Your mother is Lady Westmacott's companion, correct? Yeah, but it's not like you think. <laughs> At first I thought, boy, you must be really wicked if you need to pay for friends. But the lady's really okay. A bit odd and really old. But other than that, she's great. She likes me. The lady has peculiar taste. Hey! You and your mother, do you both live on Lady Westmacott's estate? I'm only there for the holidays. Most of the time I'm at boarding school. I imagine that's not very pleasant. No, it's fine. I have friends there. You always have to be so quiet in the lady's house. And I'm not allowed to bring any friends. Such a big house with so many places to hide. And no one to play hide and seek with. You said it. And how long has your mother worked for the lady? Two years. And your father? What does he do? He stayed home. I used to go fishing with him. And hunting. He even let me shoot a real gun. And then? Then mom fought with him. And he left. I was seven. Oh. And uh, how old are you now? In eight months, I'll be nine years old. And do you already know what you want to be when you grow up? A burglar? <laughs> a burglar. No. We'll see. Maybe an actor. Really? Well, I don't know. You need a lot of talent for that. I'm an actor in a theater group, you know? You are? Oh, yes. And I'm one of the best in our group, if I may say so. I get really deep into my roles, you know? I don't just talk like the character. I think like him. I 
become him. It's the only way to. <laughs> yeah, he did just ask a kid if he wanted to be a murderer. No, it was a burglar, not a murderer. Burglar. There's a difference. Burglars don't kill, they just steal. That wasn't bad. Disturbing, but not bad. Tell me, have you seen the steward anywhere? Hmm. No. He was walking around a little while ago. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't nope. forget him. Burglar. <laughs> What's he supposed to do? I'm looking for a key to open a compartment door. Did you check his things behind the counter? There we I'm go. I'm sure the drawers will be locked. Can't you the boy the triggers door? everything. The lock like the Perhaps. But I need a piece of wire or something like that. Ask my mom. He has a lot of hair. Hope he will murder face you. Yes, he will. Thanks for the tip. So long. So longer. All right. Um. I have no idea. I. The kid's not on the walk for the next half. The violin case looks pretty old, but that doesn't say anything about the quality of the violin. The best violins are often in the oldest cases. Excuse me, sir. About the purse. Ah, yes? Has it been found? Someone saw you with your violin case on the platform in Zero. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of this. I didn't steal Yes, anything. you did. Nobody said you did. I just Guilty, because no one said he did anything. Noticed anything on the platform. Well, why did you think I was accusing you? Well, I thought that because you mentioned my violin case in the context of the purse. Apropos, may I have a look at your violin? It must be a very extraordinary piece. Oh, that's, uh, that's not possible. It's a genuine Guarneri. Very valuable. Very. And also very sensitive. What could harm it here? Light? Air? May I ask you to open the violin case? No, you may not. I'm not guilty of Yes, you are. I'm afraid I have to insist. Then I'm afraid you need a warrant. I will not stand back and let you rifle through my belongings. Jerk. Have a good trip. Thank you. No, I don't want to read the paper. John Searcy making mm. too long. I want to give him the paper. It makes me read it every time. said you have some hairpins. Could I borrow one? One of my hairpins? It's a long story. It would be a big help. Well, if you really need one. Go ahead, Mary. The constable won't do it any harm. Will you, Mr. Zellner? Of course not, madam. Of course not, madam. Oh, I stole his line. Sorry about that. Is this one okay? It'll do nicely, madam. How very kind of you. Goodbye, Mrs. Miller. Goodbye, Goodbye. And suddenly, it's me who's the thief on the train. Oops, that was easier than expected. to the compartment door just this one rats hmm. too small for the door but it might still be useful okay let's go back oh 
Oh, never mind. going the wrong way. We need to open up the box outside. The box is secured with a padlock. I won't be able to open it without a key. There we go. This should help. Alright, let's go back. Let's open the door with the pliers. I bet I could really get a grip on the bolt with these. Well, come on then, hurry up. This guy's been standing here for an hour trying to get into this door. There you go. Hello? I barely left the window ajar. Uh, nothing to see. Oh, my head. Oh, I forgot to do something with the pencil and the, um, the, the you paper. You have to make some, like, dust or something to examine for fingerprints on the window. That's another achievement the in the game here. Caused the lock to lock itself. You can't possibly believe that. Well, then, what's your theory? The conductor could have locked it from the outside. On the other hand, it could have been someone here in the compartment who locked the door from the inside. Who? And where have they gone? They could have climbed out there. Who would be that insane? You tell me, Professor. So, what are you hiding in your bag? What do you have that would be worth stealing? No, nothing. No valuables? Well, certainly not. <laughs> not on my salary. It was enough for a first-class compartment on a luxury train. That's my business. You're playing a dangerous game, Professor Lucien. I'd like to look around a bit. Of course. I really wonder what the professor is hiding from me. But I can't just rifle through the luggage of innocent citizens. This is the 60s. Yeah. Wow. A very nice fountain pen. Privacy. If you've managed to decode hieroglyphics that boggled the best minds of the last 3,000 years, you'd have received a gift like that as well. Hmm. No, nothing interesting. The Bible, Grimm's fairy tales, Moby Dick, and gin, whiskey, and rum. All classics. Aha, uh -huh. a button. What's this? there it's a button from a suit or a uniform i guess the burglar might have lost it maybe or maybe not if i notice anyone with a missing button on his jacket i'll ask him about it but i wouldn't get my hopes up if there was a burglar he climbed out the window and jumped off the train Assuming there really was someone in the compartment, and he climbed out the window, where's he gone? Professor Lucien? Yes? Oh, nothing. Well, uh, good. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Okay, so... Actually, let me go back and um, go back to the bar here. Oh, hello. Me, sir. We could have used you a few minutes ago. 
Hello, um, Boss Moves. This game is called The Raven Remastered. Just came out today. Hmm. When I scratch the pencil red with the scissors, I get fine graphite powder. I won't get the uh, game command. I don't know. Graphite powder Fail. Won't bring out <laughs> fingerprints at a pitch. Scotty Butt doesn't like you. Pretty sure the game command should have worked. I don't know. All right, now we can come back in here. I think. Professor Lucien, you want to help him? And um. How can I help you, Constable Zelda? I'd like to have a look around the compartment. Oh, uh, of course. All right, so you come over to this window, and you use this graphite powder and blow it onto the window, and you'll get another achievement. You can see some of the achievements here for the game. Uh, switch the radio on, analyze the fingerprints on the window. So those are two achievements we, we get here. All right, so moving on. What are you doing? I'm trying to make what I suspect are fingerprints visible. <laughs> and? Found anything? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> there are only a couple of fingerprints on the window. It was probably clean before departure, but the prints I can see look like glove marks. Well, wouldn't you expect that? What professional burglar wouldn't wear gloves? Which makes me wonder what a professional burglar would hope to find in your compartment. I don't have anything to say to that. I thought as much. It was worth a try. Yeah, it was worth a try. And you failed. Alright. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Goodbye. So we're just about done with this uh, part here. For the most part. Maybe about 10 to 20 more minutes. Maybe. somewhere else if you don't like it. Wow, so rude. The violin, I have to... All right, Matt, tell me now. The violinist won't let me check his violin case. Of course he won't. He's hiding something. Should I distract him? Then you can have a look at his case. What do you suggest? I... I could tell him there's a suitcase full of money in the next carriage. If he's a thief, he'll definitely want to take a look at it. I don't think he'll fall for that. Or I can insult him and then run away. He'll try to catch me, and you'll have a chance to look in that violin case. Now that I think about it, this is something I have to attend to on my own. It would be expecting a bit much from a little boy. Little boy? You must be kidding. Uh, sorry, uh, Sheriff. But your idea about distracting him is good all the same. So long. So longer. I have no idea. Why don't we use this thing? Ah, uh, why do I do this again? Stupid newspaper. Oh, 
Bray. Call that rear stop. Did that make? I think the bird to. How can I do that? I think bird to be sure. How can I? I don't know how you can do it. It's one thing I haven't figured out how to open up the violin case. So I think the um, purse is in there, but whatever. Moving on. I'd better let. You know what? I never went back all the way to the front of the. Um, car again since the conductor might be up there let's try it out nope nothing it's worth a try all right let's check our notepad Is this a murder on the Orient Express? Uh, it might be. There's no way to distract this guy. stream tag the baroness I better not all right we're just gonna go back here yeah it is sort of like those Sherlock home games. Lucien into his compartment using a pair of pliers. Did you notice anything inside the compartment? The window was open. Someone could have climbed out. And the professor? Acted suspiciously. He rummaged around in his leather bag. And? He seemed to have found what he was searching for. Good. Good work. Now, perhaps you could give me some information. Hmm. All right. We should. What? The light's gone out. Um, one of our other streamers, Gerald, he checked out those um, Sherlock Home games. I never played any of them. Me. There, sir. An envelope. There, an envelope. Hmm, what is this? My dear Nico, you should take a closer look at the box. Ah, what the dickens? What the bloody hell? Oh, oh my. Away with it. No! And at this point, you'll get another achievement for surviving the explosion in the freight car. Is everyone all right? Are you hurt? Quick thinking. Well done, Selma. 
Hmm. I think the tunnel collapsed. Then he's trapped. Hurry, we have Yeah, the safe would have protected it better. Sir, there's a fire up ahead. The engine's burning. It's a distraction. Hurry, block the exit. But sir, <laughs> the fire will consume all the oxygen. He's right, Inspector. A fire in a narrow tunnel is extremely dangerous. The heat of the moment. Merde. Go to the front of the train, find the engineer, and tell him to move the train out of the tunnel. Yes, sir. Are you ready? You have to uncouple the freight car. You understand? <coughs> I understand. Mm. They really blew the I'll chance. Yes, the he did. They should all wait in the tunnel. We'll check each one in turn as they go out. Let's get to it. How come they get flashlights? All right, let's open our journal here. Uh... was damaged by the sudden stop that was a blast of a punch <laughs> thick enough to survive the fall my god what a fire i hope constable oliver can at least reach the engine whiskey scotch rum the cures enough to entertain everyone on the train all the way from Paris to Istanbul moving forward <gasps> who's there oh pardon me I did not mean to scare who are you what are you doing here, Doctor? Legrand asked me to check whether there are any passengers left on the train. Really? No one is here, except for me and you. Excellent. Then I will continue searching at the front. Did anyone act suspiciously before the explosion? Did anyone leave their seat, for example? I was the only one on the train who wasn't seated when the freight car exploded. Thank God. Otherwise, I would have been caught by the blast as well. You certainly were lucky. Perhaps I was. What happened over there? The inspector said something about gas canisters that exploded. He didn't want to scare you. The truth is, it was a bomb meant to kill him and the Bobby. My God. An attack. But who would... The investigations are ongoing, but first we have to get the burning train out of the tunnel. Oh, of course. How are the passengers? They are in a state of shock, of course. The blackout and the sudden stop were frightening enough, but then the explosion, the dust, everyone rushed for the exits. I was helping the American woman bring Lady Westmacott to safety. They are waiting outside in the tunnel. One entrance is blocked by a fire, and the other one seems to have collapsed. Continue to search the train. I'll decouple the buried freight car. All right. Doctor? Can you give me a few matches? Oh, certainly. Thanks. I'll meet you outside. Do hurry. I should concentrate on uncoupling the freight car. Alright, let's get a match. <laughs> also, you get an achievement for lighting four matches. I see Legrand or the constable, but I can make out the silhouettes I've already gotten it, so just light four city. matches and you All get an the achievement. Same, the fire is getting bigger, and I don't have much time.
I noticed the extinguisher earlier doesn't match the decor. I suppose that the railway company had to comply with safety regulations at the cost of aesthetics. It'd be useless against the fire out there, and it's too cumbersome to carry around. At best, I can use it here. Uh, he broke the chair leg. That's why he started learning property. All right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna wrap the chair leg inside of this curtain or whatever. Carling Black Label, a British beer. Brown. No good. Insufficient alcohol content. For practical purposes, I mean, not for drinking. Let's uh, get some alcohol here. Mm, high proof rum. Could be useful. So our goal is to make a torch here. It took me the longest time to figure this out, so I think I can do it here. Rum from Austria. Believe it or I don't not, know what to do now. Percent alcohol by volume. There's no way anyone would drink it straight. So we're gonna pour it on the torch to, you know, sort of light the torch. That should do it. You're also gonna pour this out of this bowl. Like the match. There we go. I'll try to light the torch. Mm. The alcohol burns with a dim blue flame. It doesn't shed enough light and will probably burn out in a few seconds. Won't solve my lack of light. I'll have to try something else. Hmm. Right, yeah, set that on fire. Hmm. Just as I expected, the alcohol burns with an almost invisible flame. And now we're going to dip the torch in it. The alcohol on the curtain burns just as darkly as in the bowl. It's no help. Hmm. That should do it. Can't really say the fabric was eager. So now we poured alcohol on the, the cloth. Hand, soaked up enough in my fingers to smell like a drunk. The alcohol on the curtains would burn just as dimly as in the bowl. It's no good. Flame is hot, but it's no use as a light source. The material won't be able to soak up any more alcohol. The alcohol on the curtain burns just as darkly as in the bowl. It's no help. Hmm. What else was there? Oh gosh. Pretty sure. I had to light the match. Light the bowl on fire. Get me something like a Molotov cocktail. 
I want light, but I don't want it to come from a wall of flames. The alcohol on the curtains would burn. Champagne, the finest. Maybe we'll open a bottle if we get out of the tunnel alive. Until then, though, it's no use to me. Hmm. The flame is hot, but it's no use as a light source. Hmm. I want light. I shouldn't be... I'll never set fire to the trailer using matches. I need a better plan. Hmm. Yeah, the whole cabin is on fire. The flame is hot. The material won't. Yeah, um. Hmm. I don't know what else I'm missing. I'm just gonna go outside and just click on stuff. Maybe that'll trigger something else, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing that right. There's a pretty intense draft here. The fire is sucking up the oxygen. Hmm. The wheels came off the track during the explosion. Even if it were possible to pull the car out of the rubble, you wouldn't get far with it. I'm sure I could uncouple the car if I only had enough light to see what I'm doing. See, I need more light. So maybe this will trigger these other objects in this room to work correctly. The flame is hot. Alcohol on the curtain burns just as darkly as in the bowl. It's no help. Really? The flame. Pills. I'm supposed to. I bought it last week. It was. I want mm. the alcohol. It's taking. It's nothing else to do. No, I can't light it outside. <laughs> it's taking too long. Time is running out. Should, on my first playthrough, I wrapped this thing with the alcohol soap. The flame thing and dipped it into that thing over there. Light the, it lit the torch, then it worked, I think. The alcohol on the might be something I'm trying to think. Hmm. Now let me check this room. The fire is sucking. Here in the Alps. I should... Yeah, yeah, can't... Nothing else in this car. At all. Can't do anything out here except for climbing off the train. The cup. So, the only thing we can do is inside this saloon car. Yeah, it doesn't let me open a window. Like, he, 
he pretty much closes them all. That'll get me something like a Molotov. I want life. A fine probably doesn't... The flame is hot. Hmm. I want... Pretty sure I did exactly that earlier when I played. Because I don't have any other items. Oh, you know what? There is a, there's a step. The oil, the oil. Give me that rag back. We have to um, take the rag back outside to the train wheel and wipe it and soak up the oil off the train uh, couplers. I forgot about that. It took me an hour to figure that out earlier. How could I forget this? something <laughs> else. Okay, let's go back outside. Luckily, it only took a few minutes to figure it out here. Okay, I'll smear some grease on the curtain. Okay, there we go. Now we should be able to light it. Okay, now we can light the torch. There we go. I'm the god of now we're playing Tomb Raider. Alright, so at this point we'll get an achievement for lighting a torch and um, progressing in the game pretty much. Now we go back outside and uncouple the cars and uh, we'll be on our way here. That's better now. A lever on a pressure sleeve running along a thread. Aha! I can uncouple it with this lever. <laughs> now we're playing Tomb Raider. <laughs> yep. Okay. <clears throat> you know, you always have your torch in Tomb Raider. All right, and, uh, at this point, I think you'll get another achievement, I think, for, uh, listen, trying to remember. Everybody. We'll see. Listen! <laughs> Robert, what's the situation? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find the engineer, so I got in the driver's cab myself and released the brake. Uh, the train's leaving us. All right. Good job. You too. Listen, please! Matty, where's Matt? Where's my son? Relax, madame. I'm sure I... Help! Yeah. Maggie! No! Why is the train leaving without them? <sighs> this is a lot for an old man.
I don't know why they aren't on the train. I don't know. Maybe it's, this is a flashback or something. I don't know. But you'll get an achievement here for catching the runaway train. But we are gonna. Are you there? Um, Nothing. This <laughs> person enhancing drugs to catch this, the train. But we are gonna be wrapping up the stream here soon. I originally said we'll be going in an hour. But, uh. We went over an hour. That makes things extremely complicated. Hey, look, the handbag. Suppose this handbag belongs to oh, me. No. Matt's mother. Lady West McCart's bag is probably smaller and more expensive. Uh -huh. Hey, there you are. What were you thinking? Uh, come out of there. Is he gone? Is who gone? The man. The man. What are you doing on the train anyway? Why didn't you wait in the tunnel with the other passengers? I... I wanted to get my pistol. Your pistol? But there's so many cops and thieves and explosions and everything. Then I need a pistol too. Makes sense. Well, what about this man? There was a man. He was coughing. One of the passengers? I think he came down from the roof. <coughs> All right. First, I'll stop the train, and then we'll have a chat, okay? You want to come out? <laughs> hmm. Good idea. You stay put. I can't get in. I presume the Baroness's luggage toppled over and is blocking the door. Hmm. Professor Lucien's suitcase. Unlike the leather bag, he left it behind when he fled the train with the other passengers. I don't think there's anything interesting in it. Whatever the professor he can me, it's in his leather bag. What have you got yourself into? Couldn't you have just let it be? But no, of course not. And now you're here, on an out-of-control train in the Alps, responsible for the life of a child who'd be doomed without you. What are you waiting for, eh? Time to save the day. The tanks don't seem to be damaged. The water is still running. My situation isn't that bad. Yeah, it is. This calls for gin. I like how there has to be a loading scenes in between each section of the train here. You can hardly see out of it. I don't know how much coal is burning on the tender up there, but it must be tons. I can't do anything about the fire. If the emergency brake doesn't work, I'll have to try something else. <sighs> here goes. Ouch! Hot! Ha, of course it's hot. Of course. An access for emergencies. If this isn't an emergency, I don't know what is. The emergency brake either was damaged in the explosion or was sabotaged, but whatever, it's not working. I, I think I should try to uncouple the engine. I mean, how else can I stop the train? Hmm. We'll see about that, huh? The handle 
there's already two. Okay. We'll do it the hard way. There we go. <laughs> the axe works as a wedge to keep the door closed. The smoke isn't just toxic, it also contains coal particles and flying sparks. If any of it gets into my lungs or eyes, I'll be out of action. <laughs> okay. I need to protect my face. So many steps, everything. Okay, so we can't go outside. Tip Beast Quest. Yeah, we'll probably do Beast Quest uh, tomorrow slash later today. The engine and the coal tender are burning. I'm wrapping up the stream here soon the anyway. Is feeding the flames. I have to decouple the wagons immediately. Sooner or later the engine will be blown. Matt saw something, if I don't... Matt hasn't grabbed... Okay, I don't know what else to look at here. There has to be something inside of this compartment. Towel. Give it here. A large, soft towel. Very comfortable. Okay, take the towel. I'll wrap it around my neck to keep my hands free. Now let's wet the towel. It's soaking up the cold water. <sighs> okay. Now let's try to go through that door. Where'd the towel go? That should do the trick. Did it? The coupling won't release because it's under too much tension. Of course it is. He's dying. You need to win a cup of the year after all of this. I can actually taste lumps of ash. It's time for my deputy sheriff's story. Hmm. I uncoupled the locomotive at full speed. Not bad, eh? Do you think we'll get in trouble? Because of the locomotive? I don't think so. It was pretty old already. Come out so we can have a chat. I check the entire train. There's no one on it except for us. What an adventure. Oh, yeah. There we go. I got an achievement. Hero of the hour. You, see on the train? you must. Uh, you saved well, Matt. You're like a hero. I wanted to get my pistol. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm, what's going on? <coughs> Who is this guy? This mystery man. It's the Undertaker. Um, it's the man in black. Hmm. And then? When the guy was gone, I got up and banged on the window. I wanted to get out of there, but then I thought, what if the guy can hear me from the next car? So, I got scared, and I hit again. You did well. You did not. Are you sure it was a man? Yeah, very sure. My no. God, that's gotta be Gary! <laughs> no. Girls can't be <laughs> thieves. Girls are always honest. <laughs> if only you knew. Did you recognize the man? Have you met him before? I don't think so. Would you recognize him if you saw him again? No. <laughs> Battleship. It was very dark and I was hiding. Was he a tall man or a short man? Just a man. Just a man. I think he was a bad man. Bad man. Why do you think that? He was sneaking around even though everybody else was outside in the tunnel. Maybe he just wanted to get his wooden pistol. Ah, oh, man. The envelope that the man lost. Where is it? I thought it might be important. Hmm. I think we should have a look. Hmm. Some cash. An Italian passport. <laughs> you already got the 1K Very from it. Of course you did. And here, a ticket for... For... Nothing. For the cruise. What? The tickets we have for the big ship from Venice to Cairo look exactly the same. Interesting. May I keep it? What do you want to do with it? Take a vacation. Okay, well. Hmm. Vacation at a time like this? It's evident. And my chance to go with you. The ticket and everything else in the envelope are part of my... How do we get off the train? What's going on problem? here? We well, just skipped ahead of time. If I hadn't given you the envelope... You'd have no proof that the Raven's heir would be on the ship. Ugh. The ship is his next chance to steal the eye. And he won't give the eye of the tiger. Has it. And that's precisely why you should let me come along. No. I deserve to come along. <sighs> what you did was extraordinary. Far more than anyone could have a right to expect from you. And you still want to leave me behind? You met our foe and barely escaped with your life. You may not be that lucky next time. It wasn't luck. You can return to Switzerland with your head held high. Enjoy your triumph. I have not achieved anything yet. The fiend tried to kill us and he's still at large. Um, non-parchments? Yeah, I played it. I played it on stream last week. Remember, um, I'm not sure if you were here. I couldn't, um, um, I didn't have it downloaded, so we played something else while it downloaded, and we played it for like 15 minutes or something like that. It was very brief. Didn't turn up anything new. No. Yeah, he looks like Mario now. So yeah, we have the adventures of Mario and Luigi. Um, I, I can see it being fun with people. Like, I believe it sports up to four-player online co-op. So I can see it being fun with that. How could the Raven's heir have found out about the trap? How was he able to put the dynamite in the box? And Tesla versus Lovecraft. Um, that comes out on um. Yeah. It wasn't my it's Friday. It's out Friday. I knew someone was on the roof of the freight car, but I let myself be distracted by that damned letter. How did you know? 
Clovin Casey buying a game, dance game, one million. He traded Mulaka for it. <laughs> he finally got rid of it. Coming with you, full stop. The thief was able to place ten sticks of dynamite in a yeah, so few, quite a few games coming out this month. For, for AAA, we got um, Far Cry and we got Sea of Thieves and um, there's something else. But Inspector. Uh, also got Far Cry 3 here. Classic Edition. I also have some not quite AAA games. We have Attack on Titan 2. We have A Way Out, Burnout, A Paradise as well. Um, TT Isle of Men. That also came out today. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, quite a few. Also, Assassin's Creed Roll Remastered it's as well. It's about the unfortunate events on the train. And to return to Paris and explain my feelings. Oh yeah, and the Devil May Cry HD what Collection too. They yep. want came to out today as well. Egyptian authorities that there might be a burglary attempt. Might? Egyptian authorities? What if the jewel is stolen at sea? I know, I know. I never received it. Keep a close watch on the loading of the eye. It was a pleasure meeting you. I'm a civilian girl. <laughs> Maybe don't we have to? All right. But, um. After we're what done the loading these things here, I think he's jealous. Scotland Yard assigned him to assist me, just as you were sent by the Swiss authorities. With the distinction that he may go to Egypt. Robert is to accompany me at all times. Your mission was restricted. After we don't discuss it here, we'll be wrapping at up this the stream. Moment, I want to be sent back to Switzerland just as much as you want to be sent back to Paris. I know, but I'm walking on thin ice, and I can't carry you too. And the second eye is in that safe? Yes, an emerald. It's been kept in a bank in Zurich since the start of the war. I personally took it out of the bank vault <laughs> and Professor Lucien certified that it was the real thing. And while we'll try to keep you as fresh as we can. Train, no promises. The one was brought here in an armored car. How is it protected? You can only open the safe if you have three special keys. Professor Lucien has one, and Baroness Van Trebitz, who's paying for all this, has the second. The third was sent by air courier to Dr. Abbas Mokhtar. The director of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. So, not even you could possibly open the safe before it arrives in Egypt. That's correct. We don't want to make it too easy for potential thieves. Commendable. Telegram. I hope you're aware of the fact that you're risking your career. Indeed I am. Why do you care so much about this case? Someone pretends to be the Raven, and you promptly risk your career? What if he's not just pretending? What do you mean by that? It's his handwriting. And there's only one person who ever called me Nico. Have you ever considered the possibility that I shot the wrong man? But wh what do you mean by that? Let us assume just it's for a moment spider. that the person I shot and who fell from the roof was not the raven. Who would have cared enough to uncover the truth? The chief of police, the politicians? No, they wanted to revel in a successful manhunt. And it was the best thing that could have happened to the Raven. The search for him was over. <laughs> he had no reason to fear me anymore. I had so many medals afterwards that he could hear them jingling kilometers away. And now he's back? And you're the only one who can stop him? Does that sound probable to you? The feathers, the letters, Nico. No one outside the police force knew that the Raven used to call me that in his letters. Policemen gossip. And there are plenty of forgers. You can't seriously intend to stake your reputation on such weak evidence. My reputation rests on something that I probably did not do. I have to find out who's behind all this. Let's review. One of the two most valuable jewels in the world was stolen. Are we playing Uncharted now or what? One like, this, this is a lot of games. And you suspect a legendary burglar who's been dead for five years. Go on. 
The second jewel is about to be put on board over there in a safe that requires three keys. Our thief may yeah, that'll be cool, have the first key. The Just let us know about that. Key from the train. We don't know anything about the status of the second key, which was meant to be air freighted to Cairo. We have to assume that he already has it. Therefore, there's just one key left. The Baroness's. Correct. So, you'll need my eyes on board. Look, you can keep your eyes open for me here on the wharf. I'd be most grateful. But when this ship sets sail, you will not, I repeat, not be on board. But, Inspector, we're dealing with a dangerous... Yeah, this is a long scene here. I will pursue here. him regardless of the consequences. I won't let you get mixed up in this affair. It's still my decision. No, it's not. It's Lots mine. of talking in I've this game. Already made it. Oh, we're still in chapter one. Good day, Constable Zelna. Okay. Now we're going to wrap it up here. Um... Oh yeah, we appreciate everyone for checking out our stream of The Raven Remastered here on Xbox Live Network. This game was released today, March 13th on the Xbox Store. Developed by King Art Games and published by THQ Nordic. This game is available now on the Xbox Store for $29.99, so check it out if you're interested in it. Again, we're very thankful for everyone that checked this out live here on Mixer. And uh, we will give anyone that viewed us tonight 1000 bonus my points here we'll start doing that for people that view our mixer streams give you some bonus points so it could be any amount so just stay tuned but for tonight it'll be a thousand my points so um without further ado that was the game the day is legend for xbox live network We'll check you guys out next time here. Thanks for watching. DJ I G. If you need a view, well I got the game that we're working all night while I'm matching night. Okay, just for play, here we go. Now three, two, one, let's pony. If you need a view, well I got the game that we're working all night while I'm matching night. Okay, just for play, here we go. Now three, two, one, let's go. Damn. Woo. Three, two, one, here we Chill. go. Ooh. Three, two, one, for shit. Huh. Nips. Yeah. yeah. Rapping at the team, XBLN. But you think we drop it through the sin? Now we here to deliver you the games again. But you think you try to perpetrate again? Here we go with another game review. Here we go again. What you trying to know? All the deets, all the funds, all the features, all the oh no, microtransactions. Here we go. Interaction is a faction. Team XBLN gives you factions. Interactions with a new game. What you think you need it every day We be playing every day Do you need a view? We got the games We working all just night Just mashing eight What you think you perpetrate It's every single day Oh no They gave the mic This bitch for days oh, no. Here we go oh, oh, Okay Oh no Here you We got the game We be working all night But we mashing eight Okay just go play Here we go Now three, two, one Let's go Yeah Three, two, one For show Nils We got the game, we'll be working all night, but we match an eight. Okay, just full play, here we go. Now three, two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. Uh, three, two, one, for show. Yeah, three, two, one, here we go. Woo! Three, two, one, here we go.